they're too big, they're ugly, and they're inefficient. They are a terrific blot on the landscape. It would be very, very upsetting because I know how many birds are at risk. It's yet to be proved that they are safe. It's a fraud. I know that they don't work and I get a panic attack wondering just how many more people I can get to learn the fact. The amount of power that comes out of wind farms is such a minute amount that it's not worth destroying the landscape for. I coordinate information for various wind farm groups who are fighting in their own backyard. In this particular area, there are two major groups at this moment in time. One is the group against wind farm proliferation, and the other is stop turbines in North Cornwall, saying that North Cornwall has far too many wind turbines already, and it's about time the wind developers either went somewhere else or didn't go anywhere at all. It's amazing how many people need the moor for their sanity. The amount of people who said, I need Routel because I have to get away. I've got to get away from the world and I go up Routel, I go to Crowdy Reservoir, go up on the airfield, I go and watch the birds. The starlings are very important to people, seeing the starling clouds, it's a very uplifting experience. I love the moors. I've ridden on them for a long time, I've walked on them, they are, you know, I don't want them spoiled. It's beautiful countryside and to be blighted by the wind farm would be, well, just dreadful. The side of a turbine doesn't upset me. The concept of having a wind farm here and the, the risk that it would put the bird population under uh, is something that does concern me, yes. to site 20 turbines in woods where you've got a million birds coming in, in every evening and going out every morning. It's unknown what damage this could do. I did start to think a few years ago that um, because we've already got seven wind farms up and running, um, that the wind power companies would have by now gone away. A huge taxpayer's money goes into each turbine that's built. The one behind us, Davistoke, it's a £40 million project, that's £2 million per turbine, and the wind company are going to receive £60 million worth of public subsidy for something that doesn't work. But the 20 turbines would be 415 feet in height. So you can see just how enormous they are. It would be a total eyesore for the area. Wind farms are built on perception. And I would like to be able to take that away for everybody who sees a wind farm as they drive past, thinking that they're actually operating and producing electricity when they're actually not. We have to make a difference at some stage because surely anybody with any common sense will come to realise that what they're doing is wrong. If we're going to preserve our heritage, we have to stop some of this modern technology which is setting out to destroy it.